Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you this card. Now this is take two of this card. These are for my card pals Sam and my new card pal Monica. Um, I've already filmed this but by accident I deleted it so hence I've got two now. So I'm going to make it again but I'm going to change the for you to happy birthday. Um, just so that Monica and Sam can see how it was made. So for this card you need card bases or card. I've got a purple posy card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths folded in half and now it's burnished. I have two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have a piece of the designer series uh, paper packs for the in colours and this measures three and three quarters by five and a half. I have a scrap of white for the flower. I also have a piece of white at three and three and three quarters by two inches Is that two inches yeah and then a piece of purple posy at three and a half by no three yeah three and a half by one and three quarters so to get started oh and I'm also using magnolia bloom and I'm going to be using the flower and the happy birthday sentiment. So to get started we need to do our stamping. Let's move that out of the way, don't need that. Put them to one side. Right, with my VersaFine black ink I'm going to stamp the flower. Just going to stamp that down there like that. Clean the stamp off. Right, and then with Happy Birthday. I'm going to stamp that there. Yeah, quite like that. Don't need that no more. Right. We're just going to colour this flower in. And all we're using is Old Olive Light to colour the leaves. And purple posy uh, light is light, isn't it? Yeah. And all we're going to do is just flick it up where the shadows have stamped on the card, and at the base of each flower. I don't want it covered in. Don't want to cover it all. I just want a hint of colour on it. And 
and that's all I did. Just a hint of colour. And then I got my scissors and fussy cut it out. Because there isn't a dye for this little flower. This stamp set is actually from a brochure for introduction to stamping where they've got some um, stamp sets that they think beginners would like. I actually like the big one and then when I saw this I thought oh I'll have that and all. I think I've only used it a couple of times. That's something stuck on my scissors. Quite easy stamp to Cut out this one. Not too many fiddly bits. There you are. One. Keep that little scrap. And these can go in the bin. One little flower that will sit nicely on there. Like that. Oh, it actually needs two mini dimensionals on them leaves, which I've got here. Yeah, and then two leaves. And I'm going to stick one there. On there, just so that when it's sitting on there, it's got support. But that one needs one as well. So, all right, all we need to do now is uh, stick this card together. I told you it was quick and easy. It's only quick and easy because I've made it twice already. <coughs> Don't ask me how I deleted the video the first time round. I haven't a clue. Now we need to glue this part on here leaving a nice wide border I 
and this is going to go on dimensionals. Right. Oh, turn the light down. All right, I'm running out of these. I've got an order coming tomorrow. And there's dimensionals in it. down there and a little bit there that's why I run out so quick it's because I use so many but I only use stamping up dimensionals when I'm filming when I'm making cards for myself I don't use them so I find them a bit pricey. For the amount I use, they're pricey. Right. What we're going to do is pop this in the middle of the card. So we've got even border all the way around. And it's nice and straight. I'll take the backings off of these ones. My squeaky chair's back and pop some glue on this. down like that and then got these little pearls here and we're going to add three pearls just round the flower let's put that there move this one So there we have it, Sam and Moira, I hope you like it, I know this isn't your card, but your cards are here, oh, done the f each flower is in a different position, that's alright, they're not exactly the same then, well all I can say is thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this card making. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you again soon.